G'day guys, welcome back on another trip. Uh, got a pretty exciting week coming up. Basically I'm out here after a chamois. Uh, spent yesterday for about five hours climbing up through the creek behind me and found a mint campsite right on the bush line. Uh, yeah, from here it just opens up to grassy, tussock land. It, um, yeah, it looks pretty awesome, pretty exciting. Um, yeah, basically from here I'm going to be carrying on to the top and then I just want to kind of traverse this range for a couple of days uh, before eventually yeah, dropping down to the truck. Uh, doing a bit of a loop. But uh, yeah, exciting start on the way up here yesterday. I managed to spot a couple of deer and uh, a chamois too. No sign this morning, but it's alright. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pack up, have a bit of bricky, and uh, yeah, go find a nice, naughty looking campsite for tonight. Should be set. Voices on campsites at the moment. Set up camp now. Um, been here a couple of hours, just kind of chilling out. At 4 30 now, I'm just cooking an early dinner. Um, it has to start to rain, which isn't really ideal. Um, it wasn't forecasted too, so I'm hoping it's just going to pass through, but um, yeah, I might have to get it in reach just to be sure. Um, yeah, hopefully, I'll have my dinner. Pack up for stuff and head off about 6 o'clock, 6 30 for an evening up. Alright, morning of day 3. Um, unfortunately, didn't get out last night, it just didn't really start raining until about 9 o'clock. Um, so, I ended up just chilling in the tent. Um, but for now, today, the plan is I'm going to be climbing up and out the back of here. Uh, have a look over that side. So there's any shimmy about um, and then from there I'll come back and pack up and carry on that way. But yeah, I woke up to a pretty mid morning, a few clouds in the sky but no rain about so yeah, hopefully should be on for a good day. Alright, so just popped over from camp um, into this pretty epic looking basin. Uh, Start having a glass now, the wind's not perfect but um, yeah, I think pick something up. big turn that was hiding from me. Pretty epic spot but I think I'm still gonna go camp up there. It just looks too nice up there. I'll carry on down here and around and up. And that'll be home for tonight. Yeah beauty. So I've uh, set up camp, uh, just hopped into the tent, a nice swim, decided I'm just going to chill away. <laughs> um, it's been a reasonably big day and uh, yeah I'm just going to take in this lake, it's pretty awesome. Not a bad wee spot to spend the night so uh, yeah, I'll have a wee snack now and then we'll cook up some dinner and um, yeah have an earlyish night. Um, plan for tomorrow is to get up pretty early, uh, we'll pack up and you know, drop down to the valley uh, next to me for a couple of nights and uh, yeah unfortunately though, the next uh, kind of section of this range is just a bit too gnarly uh, for me so yep I'll pussy out and go down to the valley <laughs> but yeah should be good
Right, it's just been the morning walking up through the valley. Um, just made out to the next hut. Took me about four hours. Um, from here, just going to carry up through a bit more bush and uh, kind of scrubby country, and then it opens up. And I've got a saddle to head over into the next catchment where I'll camp up tonight. And uh, yeah, that eventually will be able to take me all the way out to the truck. So yeah, it's a bit of a travel day today. I've just spent the last uh, couple of hours, I guess, making my way up. Off the valley floor now, but this is dry creek red, and it is heard a shammy whistle all the way down. And we've done sure enough, so we've got with us just a bit in front of me, so I'll sit down and see if he comes back out for a look. Yeah. Just pull back up. Right, let's go on. I don't think it's worth getting the proper camera out, but. Finally we push up. And over. Had a pretty good glass of this basin, but I only saw that one jammy. So yeah, a shame. Hopefully though, there's more animals on the other side. Well, finally at camp for tonight. Um, it's been a pretty punishing day. Uh, first that climb and that bit of a sketchy descent down. Um, pretty glad to be back on the flats now, but pretty exciting. Um, just looking around, it's just obvious there's a lot more animals on this side. Uh, just with the naked eye, you can just see game trails all across the screes and everywhere. Um, walked into, or Shammy walked into me on the way down, and then when I got into flats, uh, a deer popped up within about 15 metres of me. So, yeah, pretty exciting. Got, Reasonably uh, high hopes for tomorrow that I'm going to at least see some decent amount of animals and uh, yeah I think tonight I'll probably just glass from camp, um, if I see anything I'll go after it but yeah I've just been running through there and I've already spooked a couple animals so yeah I think I'll just wait and uh, hopefully head in the morning, should be on. Seen six deer and one possible chamois too so Pretty exciting for the morning then. It's just a bit too dark now to glass, so I'm just going to head back to camp, uh, cook up dinner, and then you yeah, get to bed. Early start tomorrow, and um, yeah, originally I was there for a chamois, but I think tomorrow morning anything's uh, on the target list, so yeah. Fingers crossed, everything's still uh, kicking around tomorrow morning. So I can't see any of the ones I saw around here last night. I think there may be enough of the back here, because I have seen one just up on this back bit here. So I'm sneaking away, I'm across over here, go up here, over the back, and look over. Well, here she is. Nice big yearling hind, by the looks of it. Oh, oh, just there. <laughs> right, so here she is. Um, yeah, like I said before, absolutely hectic morning. Um, just gonna run through it, run down what kind of happened. I um, yeah, thought there's some deer up here. I saw one at least for sure. Popped my nose over the top and then it just wasn't here. So I just sat down in glass for a minute. And then all of a sudden the hind comes from over this side, just pops out of nowhere, ends up coming like running across down in front, and I kind of knew it was going to come up over here in front of me, just by the way I was travelling. So I stepped the camera in one spot, got the gun ready, I was just about, you know, lying down ready to go, and then it pops up to my right a wee bit, probably 15 metres away from me, and just locks eyes with me, so just staring at it. And then, so just bolted, ran down, I set up the camera again for a shot on, I got on the deer and then moved to where I thought it was going to be, left it there, 
managed to squeeze off the shot and yeah didn't sack it but um yeah definitely that's something pretty important because there's a lot of blood and um yeah it didn't travel too far but yeah crazy morning um it's not the chamois i was after but i don't know there's plenty of animals around here and i was just pretty pretty keen to get something to be honest um done a fair bit of walking and yeah I've seen all those deer last night and this morning i've seen this is a fifth deer i saw this morning so i thought why not eh? Right, small packed up and had Bricky, um, about to head off now, uh, make my way down valley, back towards the truck. Um, got a hut about two hours away and then another one about five hours after that, so um, yeah, don't know whether I'll make it to the second hut tonight or if I'll just camp on the flat somewhere, we'll see how I'm feeling. But yeah, should be a nice cruisy day and uh, all downhill thankfully. Right, so I think that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I was hoping to turn up here last night and cook up some back steak, but unfortunately there's no oil in this hut. A couple of pans, but it's going to bother the admin. Um, so yeah, I think wrap it up there. Uh, I want to say a massive thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, it wasn't the chamois I was after, but pretty stoked to knock that deer anyway. And I uh, saw some amazing scenes on the way. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you next time. Welcome along to a new series that we're trying to film. Um, so the purpose of this series is to showcase a bunch of real remote huts and bibs that don't get seen very often. So here in New Zealand we've got a wealth of public land, we're bloody lucky, and scattered across that public land is a massive network of sort of huts and bibs. Some of these huts see a lot of traffic, they're in sort of heavily hunted areas or they've got good tramping opportunities or rafting or climbing, uh, but there's some bibs and huts that really don't see many people. Um, so that's the point of this series, is to go to those bibs that, that might only see seven or eight people a year. Um, and give you a bit of a route guide on how to get here. We're parked up at the bottom of the Poulter River, pretty much where it meets up with the Waimakadiri. And this is, um, this is a point B of our big point A to V trip. So I'm going to jump back in one of the vehicles here, drive like an hour through to the west coast, and then we're going to be walking up the Tower Macau, up over Minchin Pass, into the head of the Poulter behind us. Uh, spend a couple of days hunting up there and then pack up all the way back out to the vehicle. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, no, that happens tonight, buddy. Alright, so just made it back to a uh, made it back. Fuck, first one been here. Opens up soon enough, I think, and then uh, mine's not. Fuck, stop talking so much. Right, so, um, yeah, literally from here it just opens up to this grassy, tussle open land. Like, 